What's going on guys? Riley here from RP Productions and today we're doing three much needed things to the, I almost said scat pack, here to the Camaro. Thing number one, we are going to be taking off that ugly front license plate bracket that the dealer unfortunately drilled into my grill. Uh, fantastic of them. Thing number two that we are doing is going to be installing a skip shift eliminator. Now as you can see from this clip right here, essentially when I try to shift from first to second gear, the car will not let me. It wants me to go into fourth gear when I'm accelerating with less than 33% uh, throttle. All right, so here we are. Let's pretend we're at a red light, put the car in first gear, and I'm gonna start to move. And now you'll watch on the screen, it'll tell me shift from one to four. And then it forces me into fourth gear where I then have to sit in fourth gear. Now, sometimes that's fine going from one to four, you get better fuel economy, and it's how these companies prevent a gas guzzler tax and stuff on their cars. Other times, you wanna go into second gear, you don't wanna be in fourth gear. So it can be very annoying, and it, at times it could be a safety hazard. So we're gonna take that sucker out where I can shift it wherever I want, whenever I want. But before we do that, we have to put the car on a lift and get up under the transmission to do that. So we'll get that knocked out. And last but not least, thing number three, we are going to hardwire my dash cam. Now, I have a Thinkware F770 dash cam, which I've done a really good um, tutorial review type thing over the dash cam. So if you haven't already, go check that out. If you're interested in dash cam stuff, I highly recommend it. Um, but we're gonna hardwire that to this car. That way I don't have to worry about like a 12 volt outlet or anything like that. It'll be straight to the battery and fuse or fuse box, sorry. Um, and that way I can have constant recording, constant protection, 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 protection here on the car. So let's go ahead, head over to Mod FX, get this stuff knocked out. Should be a great day. So this is the part where you, <coughs> you see it? This is the yeah. part where you cap off, All right? Right. And then this is the part, this is their little sensor. Which is gonna be fun to put in there. Yeah. Right up there, way at the top of the right up there. transmission. Yeah, right there. Okay, yeah. So just basically a whole way up in there. Way up in there. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's ever easy. Got it? Yeah. <laughs> Clutch. <laughs> <laughs> I should have dropped the transmission, it would have been faster. <laughs> well, on the, on the fifth gen, you showed it, it had a whole bunch of space right here. Right. This one ain't got that much space, but I mean, it's not impossible. Just a little pain. Yeah, especially if you got big hands or something. All right, so driver's side, top of the tranny. So here's the underside of the uh, sixth gen Camaro for anybody wondering. Got a lot of stuff covered under here. Got some real baby cats up here. And then the exhaust keeps flowing all the way back to this giant bathtub looking muffler. Uh, we might have to do something about that eventually. We'll see. Uh, yeah, pretty cool. We got all kinds of crazy stuff under here. Alright guys, so Jose just finished the install of the dash cam, which was a uh, kind of a pain to film, so didn't really film much of that. However, we went ahead, powered it with the fuse box up here and a ground, which we used uh, right here. And then you basically run those wires through, go back in there through the firewall. Hi Jules. Hi. So the hole in the firewall then comes out somewhere in that area, which you can run the wire pretty much up the corner, continue it all the way up the headliner back over there where the dash cam is. So really it's just a lot of wiring. Overall, Jose, Mod FX, killing it as always with the install. Definitely go check them out. If you got anything you need done in the Houston area, Mod FX is the place to go. All right guys, so one bonus thing I'm gonna throw into this video is changing out the license plate bulbs to some LEDs, which is a very simple installation. Pretty much you pop them out with a little screwdriver like I just did there. And then this rotates and 
it pops out to where you have this piece and the bulb right here. Now for the bulb, I recommend grabbing like a pair of gloves because it can get really hot very quickly. So just grab it and it pulls right out. And so, well, you can't see that. So there's your normal looking bulb and we're going to replace that with this here LED bulb. And now to put it in, it's basically the exact same. You just put it back, back together and uh, double check, make sure everything lights up and boom, works now. And you tuck it back out of the way again and just like that, you are done. Another thing I did, which I did not record because it's so simple, was I blacked out all the side markers on the car. Now, Fast Tech Performance sells basically a blackout kit where everything's already pre-cut and you pretty much just apply it like some normal vinyl. So you got the third brake light as well as these down here next to where the exhaust tips are. And uh, overall, blacking out the side markers is something I've done on every single vehicle I've ever owned because it just makes the world of difference in the appearance on your car. 10 out of 10, would highly recommend. Well guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Pretty simple installations. I'm obviously filming this the next day because uh, I forgot to film an outro yesterday, I'll be honest with you. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And once again, hit up ModFX for all of your installation needs. The guy's seriously a genius when it comes to just about everything. A lot of people thought, including myself, I thought he only did like Mopar stuff, but no, he's, he's up for the challenge with quite a bit of projects. So if you've got a project you wanna tackle, you don't know how to do it, or you want some professional help, Hit him up. His link and stuff will be in the description. Tell him I sent you. See you guys in the next one. Take it easy.